All right, guys, this video is about a tribute car that I want to build. My Uncle Jim used to race down at Skagit Speedway in the mid-50s, and this is a car that he drove, um, and uh, I want to build it. It'll look similar, but it'll be built out of new parts. So that's the plan. I've been collecting parts for a few years now. All right, guys, what we have here is a 1930 Willys Overland Night Coupe section of the rear section anyway. This is what the original car looked like when it was new. I picked this car up at a swap meet down in Puyallup years ago. The body is in really bad shape. It was smashed on the top. Anyway, here we go. And these cars, when they were built, were built on a wooden framework. And all these little holes are nail holes all the way down the edge here. Holes all the way along here to nail it into the wood. When I got this body, it was smashed. It looked like a uh, something had fell on the roof and pushed it down. So this portion here was down about here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some lines in here. Those were creases. It was all buckled out and buckled out. This was a buckled in, I think, right there, yeah. Anyway, it was in bad shape. So I've uh, cut it in half, and that way I could work on the sides, flatten it out on the floor and on the bench and on the English wheel over there. So I want to get this body put together. I got uh, one door for it and so my idea here is to replace all the wood that rotted away with steel so I got this piece here that I'm gonna tack on and eventually the whole body will be braced up with this tubing you can see here where it was nailed on and then the top originally this portion of the top would have been some type of canvas or cloth or something. So, so these these uh, the square inch tube I ran it through my roller half a year ago. This part's straight to about right there, and then I got it arced. I tried to copy the, the arc of the body. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is tack those in and I plan on making a tribute car to my uncle Jim who used to manage Skagit Speedway in Skagit County Washington Northwest Washington anyway he had a car I don't even know the what uh, body it was but it's similar vintage as this so I'm gonna go with this and it's not going to be old old parts i'm going to actually take this frame here and a couple of reasons i'm taking it is it's it's got dual um leaf springs front and rear what do you call that transverse no parallel it's got dual parallel leaf springs just like the car he had and it's a nice frame so we're going to use the frame off of this and the rear axle. I'm not sure on the front axle. We might use something else. And then I'm not going to use this body, but we're going to use the floor. I'm going to use the floor pan in here. It's in pretty good shape. And, you know, the bump, the bump here over the transmission. And we'll use the firewall and the pedals. So... So this firewall will probably end up being cut right in here somewhere, uh, narrowed up to match what the uh, coupe body originally would be. I'll probably use a Model A, like a 1930-31 Model A cowl, just because that's what I have, and it's wider than the, the Willie's cowl was. So the first thing we want to do on this body is... 
just cut. Cut off the fenders, cut off the sides, clean it out, take the seats out, and um, cut along in here somewhere. Because I'll use the floor and the inner fender well. So, so we're going to clean this up. And then we'll get the body, these body panels. We'll fit them to the sides. Um, the wheelbase on this is wrong. I'll we'll have to lengthen the wheelbase. But I'm thinking about centering the centering the uh, the rear wheel well over this rear wheel well, this rear wheel, and then use this inner, and then that'll determine. Um, where the body's going to lay, and then that'll determine the wheelbase. Uh, we'll probably, in here somewhere, <clears throat> cut the frame and lengthen it. I'm thinking it's going to be 6 to 10 inches length. And so, that's the, the first first thing to do here. Oh, well, you can see this pretty good. See that smiley face? That was where this was bent out. And see this rusty area? That's where it was bent in. So this got smashed down and it uh, bent in here, bent out there. So it was like a er, er, er. And then that section was down. Yeah, th this body's in pretty bad shape. Uh, I'm not worried about, you know, using it for a, a stock car because uh, a dirt track racers. This here was all rippled when I got it. It's still in bad shape if you look at it. It's still not quite right. I did the best I could with tools I have and the limited knowledge of uh, auto body work. So that's it. 1930 Willys Overland Night Coupe. And I think originally it had a six cylinder in it. <laughs> All right, I set it about um, 9 sixteenths in. That looked about right. But it's not perfect. That's almost 5 eighths. About 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths. And then we got trouble here. That's uh, 3 quarters almost. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to tack the bottom at 9 sixteenths, tack the center at 9 sixteenths, and tack this at 9 sixteenths. And then, um, see if I can't move this around. This, this, this here has been flapping, folding for years right there. Right there, because there was no support the weight of the body. It's just been, when I got it, it was all bent down. You can actually see see the bend yeah right right there yeah right to there to there Whee! and also we got one here too yeah this whole thing is in bad shape but it'll be good enough for for our purposes so that's all I'll do I'm gonna tack her there there and there and then adjust adjust that in a bit it's not gonna be perfect this is this is a no windows replica of a dirt track racers from the you know mid 60s so early 60s We got almost five eighths, nine sixteenths, nine sixteenths, a little over nine sixteenths, a little over nine sixteenths. Yeah, so we got yeah we got nine sixteenths to five eighths. Yeah, that pulls in there too, right there. So I think I'm gonna. 
attack this right through here. I think we're good. So attack that right there. It's good to weld this uh, see 1930 metal. What is that? Today's 2023. So 1930, 70, 90, 93 year old body panel there. 93 years old. Good to weld that to some new steel, huh? Okay, watch your eyes. Here we go. Bottom, bottom looks good. Now look at this edge here. See if that's pushed in or maybe that just that bottom bit just pushed in. Alright, looks like this whole edge is in barely at all right there. And uh, so I think for now I'm just gonna leave it. But realistically, they'll just end up being tacked. It's, um, yeah, so we'll do a good tack up here and then call it good for now. When I got this, they had no, no wood in it except a, a little bit of wood around the rear window where it never got rained on. So this, this probably hasn't had any support. Oh, I don't know. If it's, what, 90 years old? Probably, probably hasn't had any wood on this section for 50 years. All right, I'm gonna leave that. I probably won't do anything about it, but I can always weld it later. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good. And here's the bow right here. There's really not much to see, but it does go in that way slightly. You can see it more down here. That gap, that gap's wider, and then that gap's narrow again. So anyway, I might might address that at a later date, but today. We're good. We got some good tacks up there and this whole area which has been flimsy and creased, getting creased up because of no support is now supported. And um, I ran this through my roller. I made a tubing roller. It's right there. It's got uh, the three, three spindles on it. And uh, when I rolled it, you have to keep some on the end because it rolls right there, you know. So, so the end piece, this is the end piece here. So this has got a continuous arc right to, right to there. So, so this will end up being cut off. I'm going to leave it for now because I'm going to wait till we put a section down here. I don't want to cut it too short. So. Okay, so I got that one strengthened up. Now I'm going to do that one there. Okay.
You know how hard it is to work with one hand? All right, oh, that's really nice. Okay, so this is gonna sit in the car. This will be somewhat straight up and down and then that'll curve in. So, that's really nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what that thing needed. It had no support at all. So, I'm gonna get this one out of the way and why don't I grab this one right now? And we will fix that one. See, this one's similar. Flimsy, flimsy. This one's actually pancaked right here. Right here is a rip. It's been It's uh, slipped over itself about, oh, I don't know, less than an eighth of an inch. But I remember working on this, trying to get it to pull apart, and um, I gave up on it. It's, so I think I'm just going to leave that call that good that's good enough stock car dirt track stock car racer It's a heavy, heavy 916. It's about a half right there. Okay, there we go. I think we're good, good along there. I think I'll put a clamp right there. Not much for the clamp to clamp onto. Got a quarter inch of sheet metal there. But it just has to hold it snug until we get a, a weld on there. Okay, just a hair under 9 sixteenths, right at 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 
5 8 and 9 sixteenths. So this is the same as the other side. The other side had a slight dip right here. This might be the way it is. You know, these things are made 1930, mass produced. I don't know the history of, you know, the, the Willys Overland night. This is, I don't know, but I don't know how accurate that was from the factory. For this work I'm doing, it's fine. So I'm going to tack this up here and then move my clamps over here. And then I'll show you. Show you what I got. All right, let's check this out. Right in here is a slight dip. There's uh, that slight dip. And then it goes back up. So here's the overlap I was talking about. Right there. See, when I got this car, this was all smashed and creased through here. And I just couldn't ever get that back. I probably could have welded a turnbuckle from here to there. And then pulled it apart. I could have done that. But I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. That's good. So there's our ridge all the way along. Some rust. Rusty areas. Got some good rust here and there. But you know, overall, something over 90 years old, I think we're good. So I'm gonna place a couple clamps along here clamp that up and weld it. Christmas gift I got. Got it from my wife. Just uh, found one on Amazon and told her, hey, there's something in the, uh, the Christmas list on Amazon that I'd like to have. Never used it ever. So, see if I can help this area right here. Actually, that area needs more of a, more of a chisel. This is more just a point, so. See if I can find a chisel. All right, found a railroad spike. I think that'll do the job. Okay, here we are. There's the spot that I pushed in with the chisel, and there it was a crack. I'll grind that off at a later date, but that's good for now. And here's this area I think needs more attention. It's cracked, and we're kind of kind of overlapped right there. Kind of. So we'll give that more attention at a later date. Here's the other the rip I had. So. Okay, I think we're good. So that is the first step in building the inner structure for the 
1930 Willie's Overnight, Overnight, no, Willie's Overland Night, Overland Night Coupe Body. Camera comes out and everyone gets quiet. <laughs> okay, now I'm happy with my rough cleaning, and now I go to the oh, vacuuming to get the smaller stuff. Because as you notice, sucking up the full size leaves clogged the uh, holes in the first place. <laughs> All right, Bruce, tell, tell us what we've done here. What what have we accomplished here tonight? Well, we got the, all the seats out. We had to cut them, a bunch of them, because we couldn't get down to the, break off the, the nuts and bolts that were tight. We cleaned it really good. And we, just to show how it's gonna sort of look, we put the, the new body up in there and made some rough measurements. So what's the plan here? Where, where are we gonna cut it? I'm gonna cut it right here. No, right here. Right there, okay. All the way over the edge, okay. And then back and then to here. here. Here's where we're making a mark. Oh, that's the center, center of that's the wheel. The, oh, okay. Center, center of the wheel well. And then we'll cut down here. We'll cut across here. Whee! And then uh, this wheel well right here, that'll end up being even with the side of the frame. And can you see it? Nope, can't even see that. Anyway, side of the frame is about, about right here somewhere. So, is that true? Yeah, so, so this will be, um, that, that wheel well will end up being right about here. So the body will be about a foot wider than you see there. And okay, then... we got to locate the gas tank, the gas lines, and the brake lines so we stay away from them. Well, why would we do that? Don't want anything coming apart on us. So anyway, that's the, that's the idea. Use the, use the floorboards here for the body. And then this is too far forward, so we're going to have to probably cut the frame and lengthen it. Or move the axles. This little uh, dirt track race car that we're building this will be a tribute to my Uncle Jim. It looks similar to the one he raced in the mid-50s, but be made out of all modern parts. I've been gathering parts for a few years now. So, got the body and uh, the running gear. It's also going to get a straight six out of a uh, Jeep Cherokee. So it'll have the six cylinder and have the coupe body. It'll have the look. All right. Go, Bruce. Oh, is it on? Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> get him out. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ed.
on the end.